All right, so after a lot of fine, slow dremeling um, with a, well, using a rotary tool and a abrasive, uh, not a disc, but a, like a, whatever, uh, grinding uh, stone and a file, a round uh, tapered file, um, I was able to get it to fit. Um, I don't know what happened there. I think I got a... My front and rear clearly don't match, which means that I probably, if this were mil spec, real steel, according to PMM's uh, website and instructions prior to ordering, prior to any contact, um, it would mean that I have the oval front and the um, rectangle rear uh, because these did not fit. But when I when I milled it, it looks way more like an oval than a rectangle, but the socket that inter, inter, um, that goes into it looks like a rectangle. So um, I'm just gonna go ahead and say that if you order this, please have a Dremel or a file handy at the minimum. Um, truth be told, the Dremel was just to keep it nice and clean, neat. The file could do the whole job by itself, no question. Um, but it works great, I like it. It is, it's really good aluminum. You'll be able to tell when you start milling on it. Uh, it doesn't chip real well. Um, it comes off slowly, and it if you have your uh, speed rotation up really high, it'll like coat the the stone, the grinding stone. So um, the fact that it doesn't chip off into gr you know large flakes, even when filing, um, <clears throat> that's to me that's a good thing because uh, chips are you know if you've ever milled the eighty percent lower, you know what I'm talking about with aluminum chips. <laughs> um, but it looks great, works really good. Um, being that it's not an airsoft product, it absolutely captures the um, QD unit perfectly, just like any other real steel item. Um, looks great, works good. Uh, so far, the weak link of this entire unit is going to be the back here, um, the VSC part. That is going to give first, if it ever gives, which it probably won't. The threads instruct you to use a uh, thread locker that's supplied, the blue thread locker, which may be Loctite brand, I'm not sure. Uh, yes, it is Loctite 242 supplied. Since this gun is not sustaining any recoil, in fact, it has even less recoil than a regular gearbox would because this particular one is a Wolverine SMP unit. So, um, But this is what the final product came out to look like. I'll apply a little bit of touch of paint here and there, but I'm not going to get too crazy with it. So I think it looks excellent. It looks totally factory. Um, the machining, oh, look at that. The machining looks awesome. It's nice and rounded. It looks organic to the rifle. It just totally fits it. Um, so I have to give a shout out to Parker Mountain Machine for an excellent product. And uh, I think you guys should maybe pick up a VFC, uh, they're the high end, the highest end, and I think G&G &G might make a pretty high end scar as well. Pick uh, a couple of those replicas up and start manufacturing a product for this because I guarantee you there are far, far more scar light and scar heavy airsoft guns out there um, with willing buyers than there are real ones. Uh, just through the price point of these and the, the real deal alone, you're going to have a lot of customers. The price is very fair. Um, I think I was in the 60-something range. I Honestly, I don't remember. It might have been 60-something, 60 68 ship maybe. I, I don't remember exactly, but it was not uh, It was not a big deal at all. I, I, I really appreciate the solution. It's exactly what I was looking for. Um, so again, big shout out to Parker uh, Mountain Machine. Their PMM Scar QD mount it is uh, excellent. Um, requires a little work to install, but once you've... Uh, done the work and it's on there, you'll be very, very happy. So thanks everybody for watching.